Hi, I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily create a new info stripe. Let's get started. The InfoStripe homepage, which is an InfoStripe, demonstrates how you can connect each, display your Twitter updates, include blog, video, or photo content over RSS, write your own story in HTML with images and links, map your location anywhere in the world, display your favorite InfoStripes and keep track of their updates, or share your QR code from any device. You can also share an InfoStripe across the web or find the one you're looking for. The InfoStripe is about establishing an internet presence. It's an integrated mobile site for an existing brand, or it's a hub organizing and connecting your personal or business identity. It's a notebook, an event planner, an invitation, and more. It's whatever you make it. So let's get started making ours. The InfoStripe is primarily about four pieces of information. The title, the username, and the email address. and a password. You can have as many InfoStripes as you want, they all must have a unique email address. It's also important to note that the username is a part of the URL. Let's create this one. InfoStripe has been created. Let's log in and get started. This is the InfoStripe control page. A message from InfoStripe, ways to share InfoStripe, how to link to your InfoStripe, tips on how to maximize the use of InfoStripe, and some information about donating to help us and to remove ads from your InfoStripe. You can always update the content of your InfoStripe at any time by clicking the Update Content button at the top. As you can see, we've pre-filled some of this information, but there are four primary components of an InfoStripe. There's the Media tab, the Colors tab, the Details tab, and the Social tab. At the top of the social tab, you'll find the top social networks easily available for you to fill in, as well as a list alphabetically of over 200 other network sites and communities that you may be a part of. I'll let you log in and check those out for yourself. There's also the details tab. Here you can find information about what your infrastructure is about. You can choose to display your email address and phone number. Set your location and include up to 5,000 characters with some HTML images and links as we've described. But we won't go ahead and fill that in now, but we will say that. We'll choose to display our QR code and go ahead and update our InfoStripe. Notice that you can now tweet out an update of this that you've updated your InfoStripe or share it in other ways around the internet. On the Media tab, you can choose to set a photo, up to three primary feeds, and embed up to four types of video. On the Colors tab, you can walk through some of our preset themes or choose to keep the one that you want. You can choose to set your icons in black and white or color to match your services. And that my friends, is about it. Clicking on the top image of an infrastructure will take you to the front page of it. And there we have an infrastructure about Lady Gaga. Let's make one more change. Let's 
go back into Update Content, go to the Media tab, and let's select the default header image. These images are provided by InfoStripe in case you wanted to change the image, but make sure they have to make your own. And there we are, an InfoStripe about Lady Gaga. As you can see, it's a quick, easy process to create, update, and manage an infrastructure. Try yours today.